Do we have any Scorpio Rising subscribers in the house? And if so, do you like the art of persuasion as much as me? If you do, then this video may be for you. Because in this video, I'm going to show you the tea. I'm gonna show you how to change someone's thoughts, someone's feelings, and the way that somebody sees you with the law of assumption, okay? All right, let's go. So, this law of assumption video, this tool you can use, please use this only for good, right? Please do not use this for evil, right? Don't use this in a negative sense, I'm just gonna say it, but use this only for good. Use this with pure intentions, right? Because what I'm about to tell you is gonna change the whole game. Okay. <laughs> so, if you're in a situation right now and there is somebody around you, may this person be a family member, may this be a friend, May this be a coworker, may this be an ex or an ex lover. And this person is not acting how you desire them to act. This person is very difficult. This person is very challenging. This person might not even like you and they have a lot of intense, mean, negative interactions with you. And you don't like this because you are a master manifester. You are a law of assumption expert and you realize your thoughts create things in reality. So you're out here living your best dream life, right? Right. So what are we gonna do? How can we change how this person views? Should we just go up to them and say, hey, yo, you need to like me because everybody likes me. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. It's even simpler, right? I want you guys so it's very important, it's, it's easier to do this if you already have a relationship with this person. If you interacted with this person, they're an ex and you guys used to date. Or if you were a friend with this person, you guys had a friendship back in the day. Or this is a family member and you guys have some good times together. This works really well if you have a relationship with them. If not, I'll talk about that later, but let's, let's focus on that, right? So, you're here. I want to change how they feel about me. I want them to be nice to me. I want them to respect me. I want them, I want to be their favorite person. I want them to reach out. I want things to go back to how they used to be or reinvent and uh, do a different storyline. Okay guys, well you're feeding their energy as well. Even if you're not negative, you are feeding their energy by assuming they're going to be negative, by assuming they're going to fight with you. That's adding that storyline. So what I want you to do Three steps, three steps. Step one, get into a calm state of mind. Really important. Put as, as much energy as you put in something is as much energy as you're gonna get out. So if you turn off your phone, you go sit down somewhere quiet, preferably outside, but you can go in your room, sit down, get cross-legged, cross-legged, put your hands down, deep breaths. Maybe three. Get into a deep meditative state. So I want you to get in a meditative state for about five minutes. You can listen to music or you can listen to silence. It doesn't matter. What does matter is you're slowing down your brain and you're going from that beta state to the theta state where you're almost asleep, right? You start, your subconscious starting to take over, man. We all know that we manifest through our subconscious mind, not our conscious, and that takes the takes control and is very powerful. So once you start getting into that relaxed state of mind, step two, I want you, and this is gonna feel a little bit hard and weird and tricky in the beginning. I want you to think about a memory with that person that is very, very positive. I want you to think about a memory with that person in which they were treating you how you want to be treated. So if it was with an ex, I want you to think about whenever you had a really good day, there can't be anything negative in there. Think about when you had a really good day with this ex, with this lover, and everything was perfect to you. You were being treated how you deserved. Or if you're thinking about a friend, I need you to think about a memory with that friend where you guys were best friends, and you guys had the best day ever, and it was just 
perfect. And if it was a family member, think about with that family member, you guys were just getting along, two peas in a pod. Has to be all positive though. That memory, don't think on any memory that's mixed, only positive, only positive, right? I know you had that. So after you're in that meditative state, step two, uh, step one, <laughs> step one, step two, you're going to think about that memory. So when you're thinking about that memory, the most important thing we can do when we're thinking about that with our subconscious mind is to get into step three, your feelings. What do you feel? What do you feel when you're feeling in this? Hmm, I feel a lot of happiness because this person is giving me their attention. I feel a lot of joy because I have this friendship bond and I know we're going to be friends forever. Wow, I feel a lot of contentment with this family member. Like I can trust them and they're trustworthy. And you think about this and you feel this right now in that state. You're feeling it now in the present moment. And you're feeling it, and you're feeling it, and you're feeling it, and the energy's gaining momentum. And before you know it, actually, even though you might have had thought mean thoughts towards them in the beginning, now you're starting to kind of like this person. You're like, oh, I kind of like this ex, or oh, I kind of like my friend again, or oh, I kind of like that family member. We did have some really good times. Wow, man, it was life was simple. Wow, we really were best buds. Wow, we were two peas in a pod. Man, things were nice. Wow, that was that was good. That was good. So you're gonna think about that. And then the last step, I know I said step three, we're gonna throw in step four. <laughs> oh, just change, it's okay, we can change. With the step four, or end of step three, rather, I want you to think of a new situation. So you're in this new st situation with your friend, with your family member, or with your ex-lover, ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, they, them. Think about the situation and visualize, visualize, Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. They're gonna visualize everything you want them to say to that you. Maybe it's, you look really good in that red shirt. Wow, you're such an inspiration. I'm so proud of you. Or, oh, I want you back. Or, man, I've been thinking about you every night since you left, baby. Or, oh my goodness, I really miss you, um, sister, brother, cousin. I really miss our times we had together. Or friend, oh my God, I miss our adventures. I miss talking to you on the phone, man. I miss talking about these theories. Oh my goodness. Visualize them doing that and feel how you would feel in that situation. Feel it now. Feel how excited you would feel. Would you feel excited? Would you feel shock? Would you feel anxious because it's too much? Would you feel just on top of the world like the luckiest person ever? Would you feel relief? Finally, oh, finally, we're getting along again. Finally, they're on my side. Finally, everybody is just going all together. Perfect harmony. Get into those feelings in that new situation. So to wrap it all up, go, go, go. Let's wrap it all up. <laughs> One, get into a meditative state. Calm yourself down. Get relaxed. Get that subconscious mind flowing. Two, visualize and imagine the best memory you have with this friend, family member, or lover. Visualize that. Feel that. Three, feel the feelings there. Feel how happy you were. Feel how joy you were. Feel how intense that friendship was. Feel all that happy, playful energy, right? Only, only good feelings. And then four, visualize them interacting you exactly how you want, effortlessly, easily. And you can, a pro tip, you can even say some assumptions. They are so obsessed with me. They realize that I'm the best person ever. I'm their favorite person again. This family member, of course, wants to talk to me. This friend, of course, wants to be my best friend and all they think about is our friendship and how much they're missing out and how I'm irreplaceable. This ex-lover can't stop thinking about me and they want what they can't have and that's me now, so they're coming up in to, to get up in there. So yes, guys, so if you're Scorpio rising, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this. If you have any water in your chart, you're probably gonna enjoy this or maybe you're just a law of assumption lover like me and you want to try new techniques so you can go ahead and try this and I promise you guys I have done this in my personal life with a certain person that I felt I actually knew had negative feelings toward me and was not treating me how I wanted them to so I did these exact steps and within that day within a few hours that person instantly acted exactly how I desired. They were instantly nicer, 
they were complimenting me, they were going out of their way to help me, and their friendship came back to me exactly how I wanted because I followed these steps. So follow these steps, leave your success stories below. That way that people can understand this is true and it happens and you guys can be free because we all deserve to be free. Thank you so much for coming to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm open for one-on-one -on -one coaching with the law of assumption. I'm open for tarot readings as well as birth chart readings. And if you guys are interested, I'm starting a spiritual school. So if you wanna learn about the law of assumption, the law of attraction, if you wanna learn about hedge writing, astral travel, indigo children, rainbow children, star C. Let me know and I will include you guys in it. I love you guys. Goodbye. Oh, happy lucky Tuesday. <laughs>